All right, everyone, we're going to be talking about your database and we're going to be showing you the back end of two of our systems so you can better gauge what to do when it comes to following up with your leads. A lot of the opportunities that we see, sometimes we don't even see them because they're invisible to us. And there was what prompted this was a conversation I had this last these last few days where I went into... I do this often, but I went into the back end of a CRM and we started dissecting leads that were coming through databases and people that were revisiting the website. And from it, we always get quite a few people that are actually interested that we just miss because we just don't see the same things. So what's up, Mark? I see you from Sayurita, Mexico. That's great. Uh, we, we need to talk still. So Isabella, Port St. Lucie, Florida. Look at that, waiting for a hurricane. All right, well, be careful, Isabella. Uh, nuts. Don, Las Vegas, I'll be there tomorrow for follow-up boss. I'm at the event. I'm speaking there. And see me from Orlando. You ready, Mark? All right, here we go. We're going to jump into first follow-up boss, right? It's uh, one of our main CRMs. We've had them since 2011. We're going to showcase this together. Now, there is a feature in follow-up boss that allows us to kind of block out names, but I'm not going to use that. So, you know, don't, don't, don't be calling our people either. I don't think anybody ever has, but here we go on this CRM. We've got 73,000 people in it. And I want to show you some opportunities that we often miss. Anytime you have any questions, pause us, throw them into the chat or throw them into the Q and a and Mark, if I miss anything, Slow me down or anything you want to add in regards to this, okay? Cool. All right, here we go. Whoa, dude, slow, slow, slow down. For now, <laughs> right now we're going to go over some leads that just came through. You'll see that some of our leads, most of our leads are from Wailopo. And if we break down where they're coming from, here's Braulio Gonzalez. You can see on the right-hand side, it's a Google AdWord uh, from Google AdWords, and they registered through dynamic registration. So that means it came back through because we were retargeting them. And they initially came through. We can take a look at some information here of what we look at. We look at a few things at the beginning because their email gives us a lot of information. So we've got Braulio Gonzalez, and sometimes the, the last name is off or the first name is off. And we do our best to grab it from the email because for some reason, a lot of people put their first name and last name into their email. And sometimes they put their date of birth in there. And I'm assuming that that's the case here because October 29th is somebody's birthday. I'm thinking it's Braulio Gonzalez's. What do you think, Mark? Yeah, it's, I, we, should, we should email them and say, happy belated birthday. Happy. happy. Uh, was your birthday last week, Braulio? Are you looking for some houses? <laughs> I mean, imagine that text. <laughs> mm. that'd be great and scary all right phone number area code 832 i don't know where that's at but next thing we look at is we look at some timelines and while Lepo came in three hours ago assigned to me you know i'm just going to assign it to mark since he's with me right here sweet mark you're in charge all right i'll and take that mark mark's now going to get a text but the thing that we're looking at is we look at the, these tags and we've got one tag saying 91302, which is Calabasas. They're a buyer, the Calabasas again. And we have Conversion Monster helping us out. So they already started their process of communication, telling us that they came in through dynamic registration and home bought invalid address. So it looks like the address they gave us is invalid, or maybe it was just put incorrectly, which we'll check. And do they need to sell before they buy? No. Sell before buying? Yes. Well, this is interesting, right? Sell before buying? No. And sell before buying? Yes. Let's find out which one is real. Seller alert. Looks like it might be a seller. And we already know they came in through Google ads. So that's the first thing we look at. We look at the tags. And then we scroll all the way down. And we've got some really rich information at the bottom and sometimes we miss this, but it's important to take a look at what we've got here. Here is why the seller address came in wrong. It didn't give us their actual 
uh, numbers in front of the street. So we've just got Eagle Trail Drive. That's all we've got. And again, Eagle Trail Drive, they're planning to buy over the next six months. Cash, home with a view, doesn't matter. Sell before buying, yes. Looks like that's a definite yes. And these are all questions that they fill out through our website. So I'm going to take you through Google right now. And maybe if we're lucky, we'll get ourselves when we're looking. So homes for sale in Malibu. Uh, let's see what pops up. And let's see if we pop up here. Well, we do. I love I love it when we pop up because then I can show you. So first one that you see up here is somebody named Nick Nico, who actually is my friend. It's great. Great job on doing that, Nick. And we've got homes by front gate. I don't know that one. Mark, do you? No. 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 And a small company called, I don't Zylo. 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 All right, guys. Really quick on this. Look what I did. I typed on Google homes for sale in Malibu. And now we see Zillow. They're doing Google ads, PPC. And what do they do? They sell those right back to us. Why don't you do yourself a favor? Cut Zillow out as the middleman or the middle person and do this for yourself, right? Just go to Google PPC and do this yourself. There we go. And then the fourth one on the ad is ours. Uh, this is one of our websites. This just happens to be the Wailopo site. If I click on it, if it doesn't remember, it remembered me. Oh, it didn't. Yes. All right. So I'm going to take you through the process of what happens. And this is what everybody goes through when they come in through our site looking for homes in any area that we cover. Uh, see home search. Show me homes. So, Mark, what are you looking for? One bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom. Malibu, I'm looking for three plus bedrooms. All right. And how many bathrooms? I, I need at least two. All right. And what size home were you looking for? Um, probably somewhere in between either the second or third one. Let's go with the second one. Yeah, let's go with the second one. Do you want ocean view, mountain view, lake view? Um, honestly, I don't, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be in Malibu. Ocean view. Yeah, we're going to do all cash for you, okay? Perfect. Uh, when do you plan to buy? I'd say within three months. Do you need to sell before buying? No. And are you interested in using current homes equity? No. If you could buy your next home without selling your current one, would that interest you? Well, I don't. Uh, mm, mm, let's go with that, that one. How often should we send you listing alerts, Mark? Instantly. 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 And then we'll just put that email address. Hopefully, uh, we'll put happy as my name. What's your full name? Happy. And then we'll just put my cell phone number. And now I'm complete. Now, at any point, now I can view the listings. But at any point, if I leave that section where I don't want to fill out anything anymore, uh, we still get the information. If we go here, this is what this person got. And the thing is, when we get this information, I've seen some back-end CRMs where people just are oblivious to all of this and they just kind of go through and call. What I'm telling you to do is you have a lot of information when you get an online lead or even when you have a past client or sphere, dig into the activity that they're having on your CRM. The more you understand about them, the better you can approach it because this is just one portion. I mean, what I like to do, Mark, is I like to copy paste this. Mm -hmm. Like the, the next thing I would do with, with this guy is Braulio, is that his name? I, I want to know what his full address is because I don't have I don't have it. I just have a street. I put this in the background, I click it, and now I have it right here anytime I need it, right? So now the next thing I'm going to look at is what the heck did he look at when he came through? Yeah, recent activity. I want to take a look at that. And there's two stories I'm seeing here, right? Number one, I'm seeing they came in looking at condos for sale. And then yet they looked at the $7 million home. So my best bet is that they're looking for condos for sale. That's my best bet. And so I don't know enough information yet, though. So my next conversation with Braulio is going to be a text. And it's going to say something along the lines of, well, since we haven't texted him, we can text him right now, man. Let's uh, text Braulio together and say, hey, Braulio, Braulio. Uh, and he came in in Calabasas, right? Yeah, his area code is right, uh, Houston. 
Texas. Only looking in Calabasas. California. What are you? I'll do that. Also open to what's a, a good adjacent city that somebody would know. Let's do um let's do uh either Hidden Hills or Westlake Village. Oh, Westlake Village is a good one. Westlake Village, California. And then I'm going to put your name, okay? Mark. And since I can't spell California, <laughs> oh, I can. I can. I just forgot that question mark. <laughs> um, Mark and Tristan. Let's do that. Send the text. Now the text is here, right? Now this is a newer lead. So what we can do is a few things. We can start an action plan. An action plan's already started, but we can start another one. See, this is running. This is the generic one. Uh, if we've already talked to Braulio, I could stop this one and then go to a different one. There's a whole bunch of action plans here. Ones that, that came through us and ones that are already built in. Now, for me though, Mark, I'm done here. What I would normally do, we can't call them live uh, unless we say, hey, this is a recorded call. But I don't know if this, this call, if they pick up, it would take forever. So the process is, and, I, and we've shown this to you before, is call, call, text, email, and then a nudge text. And that's obviously if they don't pick up at any of those. Um, Mark, now that you have it, we got this three hours ago and we just texted them. What is your? What would you do next with this one? We already texted them? Well, I'm probably going to call them whenever we're I not live. Just, I just, yeah, I just yeah. texted them. So you would probably call them? Yeah, call him live on air. I'm also gonna see if his if his number shows up as blue in in iMessaging because you can't tell inside the CRM. Uh, yeah, yep. So if it shows up blue, I'm gonna text him from there. Probably the exact same message that you just sent now. And then if uh, it doesn't show up blue, I'm gonna grab his email and see if it shows up blue for iMessaging. Oh, good, good idea. I love that. I love that. And then we would go to the next one. So here we're on follow up, boss. So I'd go on. That's our, that's our ISA. And next, that's our ISA, Francis. Um, so he was testing this out. Probably exactly what I just did right now as Happy. My name was Happy. So you're going to see Happy in here somewhere. Uh, John Martin, next person who comes in. And what we all like to do here is we like to verify some things. John Martin, phone number 914, JWM Contracting. So J, John, W is his middle name. Martin is his last name. Looks like a real email contracting at AOL. So AOL is an older email. So we typically know that somebody is, is you know, somebody's a little older. I've got an AOL email. So chances are they're my age or older. And then we've got some tags. Again, this one came in four hours ago. Our ISAs have tried to reach them. So it hasn't been assigned yet, but we're trying to reach them. You know, I'm just going to assign everything I look at to Mark right now since he's with Sweet. me. Sweet. I'm Mark glad I showed Raider. up today. Yeah, I'm glad you showed up today. Uh, <laughs> Mark Raider's getting this one. Sell before buy. And there's a conflict here that I'm noticing. Sell before buy, no. Sell before buying, yes. Let's go to the same thing. Scroll all the way down. Let's take a look at what's going on here. And we've got a story. Uh, New York. So here's the conflict, Mark. When they come in, when they don't put an actual number to their address, right? Mm -hmm. It does it, it can't recognize whether or not they want to sell. It knows that they're a seller, but it's also saying that they can't buy. So let's note that and see if Why Love Book can change that up. This is something that I just noticed. Uh, and then they're they're looking for all of this. This looks like a positively good one, man. Um, I think let's take a look at now what they've seen. And look, look at the properties they've seen just in the last, well, in the morning. They were on our site for 48, 58, 20 minutes looking. And they range in price from 3 million to 7 million. So even though they came in looking for Calabasas homes for sale, they gravitated to houses. So that would be my whole conversation around that. I'd probably text them along the same lines. This one looks a little more serious. So we're going to give them a call. Sweet. On that one. We have a, we have so, a couple of things in, uh, in chat. Yeah. If, you want, if you want to tackle those. Yeah, um, let's go. Let's see here. There's a there's a several things. Let me scroll up a little bit. Um, okay, yeah. So I started with Eric. Are you connecting with a buyer after Conversion Monster or another AI is contacting them? Uh, yes, yes, we are. Um, it depends if Conversion Monster gets a hold of them or another AI. They're usually going to link it back to us. If not, then we're both we're both tackling it at the same time. And whoever gets it is you know makes contact. And then if it's us, 
we ha- handle it from there. If it's conversion monster, then ultimately they pass it back to us. Good one. Good one. All right. What about James Patton? Thoughts on sending individualized intro videos if they're on iMessaging? James, we've done that in the past. Uh, and it, it's a, it's really a hit or miss depending on where they're coming from. Uh, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say no to that. I'd say test it out and see if your audience likes it. So definitely try it. Um, me ask sure. if is worth the investment. Um, only, only if you have your systems in place and only if you're going to call the leads. If not, <laughs> do not do it. Do not do it. Um, Cheryl, sorry, I missed the format. Was it text? Text? Ah, okay. Um, if you weren't on our previous call, let me just pop it up here. I'll just let you guys look into it so you guys can can uh, better see it. Can you go through some questions, Mark, as I pop this up on yeah, the screen? Yeah, for sure. Chart? Um, thoughts on sending an individual intro video if they're on iMessaging? Yeah, why not? I mean, video is yeah. great. It's one of the most consumable types of media. So absolutely, James. That was James. Yeah. We'll send the video. Good, good. We got uh, that one. Josh in the chat. Good deal. What is what is the tag start Lux? Oh, uh, luxury. It's our luxury um, search, like our luxury criteria. So where they, they get to uh, like be part of like the luxury um, tag and lets us know that they're looking at luxury listings, so on and so forth. You got it. Um, yeah, Michael, you got that too. I think so. I think you're right. Neil, <laughs> uh, prices are California. Well, Neil, only in Malibu and where we're located. So yeah, prices are pretty nutty here. I agree. Uh, What's the difference between Conversion Monster and Wailopo? Conversion Monster is an ISA company based out of Buffalo, New York. And they call up and text the leads that are coming through. And Wailopo provides the leads. Wailopo does the Google PPC and Facebook lead ads. So here's the process for somebody who asked. Here's the process that we have. You could do me a favor, snapshot this because this is the process that we typically use for all incoming leads in the database. Just snapshot it. It's the one we typically want to be used. We call within three minutes, call again if no pickup after three rings. Uh, Make sure that you leave a message because then you text them back and you said, hey, just left you a voicemail. Sorry, I couldn't reach you. Are you looking for a house or a condo? Tell me. Or are you looking for a fixer or what? Uh, Next, email them that exact same thing that you texted them. And then next one, send them a nudge text, which reminds me, Mark. Yep. Let's go back to check if, uh, what was that first guy's name? Braulio? Yeah. Braulio. Let's take a look at Braulio. Let's see if he texted us back here, which he might have. Braulio. Damn it. He didn't text us back. We texted him. What was that? What time is it right now? It was uh, it was over five minutes ago. Hit him up. Say, uh, say, let me know. Let me know. Nice. Let's see what happens. Cool. All right. Now let's go. We've got what time is it? We've got eight minutes. Let's go to uh, Chime. So you can take a look at how Chime looks too. So this is Chime. For this CRM, we've got twenty thousand, almost twenty one thousand people in our database. And you've got different a different set of criteria here. This chime is an all-in-one, so you do have a website with it. So it ties perfectly into it. But just like I'm gonna go to new leads, we're gonna go to let's go to Alicia. We'll click on Alicia, why not? And just like follow-up boss, we have Ylopo again, Google PPC AdWords, right? Google PPC, Google AdWords. We have them coming in to Chime as well. Now, Chime, you can go and do Google PPC as well through Chime, but we like Ylopo a lot because they do really well for us. So again, we look at this and we got Alicia Unknown, but here, check this out. Alicia seems to have either a middle name or a last name. So what we typically do here is we add it here. And so I would edit, sorry, here we go. I would edit this one out and then add there. Whose is this? I don't want to add. I don't want to start messing around with it and give it. Is this one yours, Mark? No, uh, this was Remy. No, that's, this that's one's Remy. Remy's. Yeah, I won't mess with Remy's lead. Uh, but what we would typically do is add that as a last name. Then we check phone number 716. I think that's like Riverside or San Diego. Um, maybe. I don't know. And then 
right after we go through and we take a look at all the details here, we take a look at an analysis that Chime gives us and they analyze what's happening. So far, it says that their contact validity is high because they haven't really come back to take a look at everything else. Their web activity, our communication, time frame we don't know yet. And are they looking for properties all in the same price points so that we have the close price proximity? Uh, that's that's what we're looking at. We have a lot of information here, but again, we take a look at as much as possible before we reach out to them. And look at this, man. Alicia saved a property. That's already a plus. To me, that's, that's somebody who is interested because they're saving property. Now we go to the very bottom, same type of information that we got in follow-up boss look buyer six months cash ocean view i'll browse website first i don't own a home all that good stuff to me this is extremely important alicia yeah, wow, saved yeah. a property so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab that really quick we could even text her from here but if we wanted to take a look at it we could take a look at the property and be like what does this look like well wait it'll pop open the site uh looks like it's a town home I know exactly where that's at on White Oak and Encino, right? So what I would go back and do is I'm going to go and put a note in here and tag. Is it Remy? Yeah. yeah Remy. Okay. Looks pretty good. Saved this home. And now it's going to notify her and I'm going to add it. So these are the things that we're looking at specifically <laughs> for us to be able to determine, hey, it's a, it's a possibly a good lead. So what are some questions that we've got? Wait, real quick, just to show you the power of, of, of this, this whole system. I just got an opportunity reminder on my phone. It's like a little opportunity thing. When a lead does something, it says opportunities, Tristan Ahumada back to site, view to listing. So I have you as a lead, by the way. So I'm going to call you, see if you want to buy it. <laughs> Wait, is my name happy? Or no, it's uh... Tristan Ahumada. <laughs> oh, it's like, Tristan. Actually. Got it. That's cool though. I, mean, uh, like, I, I love it. To show you like when, when clients are looking, like, you get notified right away. Um, yeah. Chuck, uh, what's up, Chuck? How you doing, man? Uh, our ISA name. What's our ISA name, Mark? The one that you use specifically Francis. for you, Francis. 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 And what percentage of online leads fill out the entire questionnaire versus drop off? Uh, drop off completely. Evelyn, uh, we don't track how many half fill it, but every single one that comes through the, to us fills out a portion of it at least. And uh, for the way that Google PPC leads work through YLOPO, they have to fill out some portion of it for them to get to us. Outside of that, they don't get to us and they get retargeted. And then once they come back, they're asked to fill out the form again. And then once they fill it out, over half of it, then they come back to us. And some of them you see as that's why they they, they have the label uh, dynamic ads or registered. So we get better quality leads that way, Evelyn. Mm. Uh, yeah, see me good for PPC leads for sure. But you can also use Chime. If you've got Sync, you can use them. If you've got uh, Boomtown, they have it too. Firepoint has it too. Um, we just, we've just tested out Ylopo and it's happy for us. Uh, Eric Ross, is this accurate for Conversion Monster? Conversion Monster starts at seven ninety five for month for hundred leads. That's accurate, Eric. Uh, just make sure that you look at what they offer because there's two packages. One is they're going to actually pick up the phone and call two, and the other one's just texting. So, uh, see me best Google PPC through Ylopo has been the best for us. Mm -hmm. And Chime, Chime's not bad. This is why we're using them right now. If you go to Ylopo, have that, you're going to team it up with Follow-Up Boss. If you go to Chime, you don't have to team up with anybody. It's an all-in-one. You can even use Google AdWords through them specifically. You know what? I'll show you that because I know I'm getting questions on that. Here's Chime. And you can go and buy some Google. This is one of our accounts for Chime. You can go to the little paper airplane at the top. And then right here, you can just get Google PPC. You could just add it. Right, we don't have it on this one, uh, but you can get buyer lead gen, direct mail. They do direct mail, and here's the date details. You could do Facebook lead ads or Google PPC directly there, and it tells you your cost and what all, all the details. So it's fairly easy to run that one. Uh, 
Taryn. What's up, Taryn? Nice to have you on. I'm wondering how Follow Up Boss integrates with Chime. They don't. They're two separate ones. Uh, we just love Follow Up Boss and we love Chime. So we have both. Don't do it. Take one. Just use one. Um, <laughs> I just had, Taryn, I just had Follow Up Boss for a very long time. And that's my safeguard. I have We have a lot of big database in there. And it runs so smoothly with Ylopo that we didn't want to we didn't want to change it. It's so so well done. Um, I would if you're with them, stay with them. And Chime's great too. That's the hard part. Uh, don't don't do the double work that we've been doing. Uh, let's see what else. Are we missing anything, buddy? Yeah, Nelly. Can Ylopo be connected to KV Core or or same thing? And how? No. Okay. No, KV Core made it difficult. Uh, I'm talking to EXP to see if we can have KV Core talk to Ylopo better. But the good thing is if you've got KV Core, chances are pretty high you're with EXP too. And that means that you also have now the option to go into Chime for $25. So skip KV Core, go directly to Chime, team it up with Ylopo. That this was is actually, my suggestion. Dude, this is a good question. Is there an ISA company on the West Coast that understands the California market? Dude, what about, uh, what about John Key Patel's? They're not an ISA company, but they train your ISAs. And Jockey's yeah. out of San Jose. So she's Silicon Valley. Uh, Global Solutions is that what it's called? Yeah, because she's West Coast. Global Solutions. Let me write. Let me let me find this one. Global Solution Jockey Patel. I'm gonna grab this. Ding. What's her? We're a little over. Let me see. I, I wanted to text her to find it. Global solutions, solutions with Jonky. They they train your ISAs and they do an extremely good job. They trained our ISA, the one that Mark uses directly. Yeah. Mark has an ISA just for him, and um, he's he's done a very good job. Is, uh, can you answer some questions while I look up Global yeah. Solutions? Global yeah, so, so, uh, Tristan is with EXP. Yes. Um, how much is Ylopo and does it include follow up boss? Um, Ylopo, the minimum to start, I think, is like seven hundred ninety five dollars. It doesn't come. In, it doesn't come with any Google PPC. You'd have to go to their fifteen hundred a month one to be able to do that. Yeah. So take a look at those options. Good question. Uh, um, what else? We had we we found our ISA via referral, but how how would where would you suggest he goes to find his own ISA? Because ours is a referral uh, from, one our, from one of our ISAs. Yeah, Jonky could connect you with that. Look, uh, who's asking that great question? Jeremy. Oh, what's up, Jeremy? Just text me. Text me, and I'll connect you to um, I'll connect you to Jonky. Look, and I'll, I'll put my phone number if you need to be connected to anybody. And Mark, how do people follow you? Where do they go and ask you questions? Put your put your Instagram or whatever. Yeah, you want. DM me on, on Instagram. Yeah, and Sue, yes, isn't that nuts? Um, Twenty five bucks for Chime if you're with EXP. Look, I just switched to EXP, and I'm like learning all of this tech stuff that they have, and I'm like, wow, this is a pretty good opportunity. So yes, Chime. Um, global solutions are trained. Great. Text me, hit up Mark, DM him, follow him, like all of his stuff. He's a DJ too at night. <laughs> He's like Batman at night. He's like Clark Kent. He's like Clark Kent in the morning, real estate agent and DJ at night, like night. Superman. <laughs> so You're Superman. You're Superman. <laughs> Super DJ man. <laughs> uh, I hope this was informative. We wanted to get a little bit more technical this time to show you what we do. Uh, I, we get this question a lot, but we've never taken the time to break it down like this. So any other questions on the technical part of this uh, before, while, uh, while we still have you here for another couple minutes, even though we're late? No, Sue? Good. Mix, ma mix <laughs> Master Mark. <laughs> triple M. <laughs> triple, triple M, dude. I love that. Agent M. 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 Sarah, so, thanks, guys. Tristan, I will text you questions. Yeah, text me with anything. Just give me a little bit of time to follow back up with you, but I will get back to you. How often are you following up in your action plans? Isabella, with the new leads, we have a seven days of love that we have in place. And we also have 
If you missed one of our previous calls, oh, dude, we always forget this part. We also coach, guys. <laughs> this is terrible. We also have a coaching company. Uh, we do this for free, but we also have a coaching company, guys. And damn it. Um, I look every time you're like, oh, yeah, that. I feel like I forget that we're doing this just so people can come and coach with us. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Um, I, I put the blog in there. Those were all of the recordings are. One of those recordings has a breakdown of our lucid charts where it takes you through the whole process of how we follow up here, just like this. It takes you through this whole follow-up process. I just don't remember which one it is. And it's that last link. And if you need coaching, if we remember ever that we coach, we might help you. But other than that. Yeah. Other than that, good luck. Actually, tomorrow we're t- I'm talking about um, objections, really good objections. Oh, okay. Are you doing the whole team coaching tomorrow? Yep. Yep. All right. Objections. I like that. And someone contact us if you want to coach. If not, keep on showing up. This is free indefinitely. We just want to help out the industry. Thanks, everybody. Later.